Well, I just had to take the bike into the city. Uh, I have every pack I got on the bike. And 12.2 uh, miles to get here. And I need to go another 12.2 miles to get back home. Uh, the packs were at 62.5 volts when I plugged them in. And they're still uh, at 60.8 right now. I was very easy on the throttle on the whole way out. So hopefully I can make it back home. We are 22.6 miles into the ride. I've been taking it very easy on the throttle as to not uh, kill these batteries because I didn't know how they were going to last on this really long trip. Alright, we finally got to the end of the ride. And let's see, 25.14 miles. Let's check the... So the pack's at 59.12 volts. Uh, max draw is almost 1700 watts. 5.3 amp hours on the way back. So that's uh, 13 miles. Five point something amps. It's not bad. Five point three four. Three hundred and twelve watt hours. So if I estimate it probably took a little bit less to get there because it's more downhill on the way there. So I'd say about four amp hours. So we draw almost ten amp hours out of these packs. I get back from uh, my longest e-bike ride yet at 25 miles and I have my new hub motor in the mail. This is a Crystallite X5404. I'll be able to put uh, easily 20 to 24 cells on this thing and probably get up to almost 45 miles an hour. <laughs> I also have some uh, Hobby King items coming in. I bought a bunch of Dean's connectors and, a, and some wires and some heat shrink and all this stuff and I bought an extra 5 cell turning pack so I can run 15 cell. Well, this motor weighs a ton and it is super wide, but this is a nice motor. 40 centimeter stator. Uh, obviously bought it used. It's got scratches and it's got bent spokes, which uh, he didn't tell me about. They're all loose and bent. Probably gonna have to get it relaced. The only thing he said, it had a couple nicks in the hall sensors, probably need to fix them. But uh, this wiring cluster looks pretty messy, so I'm probably going to end up redoing it. The next thing I did was uh, I took off all the old heat shrink and electrical tape and zip ties and the nut and bolt, obviously. And uh, I have to repair the wiring. I bought this motor used. And uh, as you can see, there's a nick in the green phase. And one broken hall and a couple other junk halls. So I'm going to take care of this wiring. I also, uh, I'm going to change out the connectors because uh, they're Andersons, but they're kind of broken so when you plug them together they, the pins fall out. Like, as you can see that one right there is not locked in. Alright, I have a little piece of uh, red and black wire. Very, very small gauge. I don't even know what it is, but it's almost uh, the same size as this stuff that we have here. So the next thing I'm going to do is plug in my soldering iron and get heated up and I'm going to get these connections made and then I'll be able to put a piece of heat shrink over there cover it up. Alright, success. I uh, put a little bead of solder there and I extended the red and black and the rest of them are fine. I had to take off all of the previous heat shrink all the way down to where it's already uh, changed over to the Anderson connecting leads so I'm gonna see if I can slide some heat shrink over this stuff and take care of it. Alright, there you go. Uh, the smallest heat shrink I have was actually a teeny bit too big, but they're in place and they'll be fine. And, uh, it may not look the best, but it's definitely safe. So I'm probably gonna try to put some other type of protection over these wires since I really don't have long heat shrink to get all this taken care of. So I'll try to find a solution and uh, get this thing bolted on. Alright, I pulled my old hub motor off, the GM 1000 watt 48 volt, and I also took off my disc caliper just to, to make sure everything with the new motor lines up and I don't have any problems. Uh, I'm probably going to swap over this rotor, even though I'm not sure how it's going to line up yet. I found a nice piece of insulation right here, so I'll, I'll be able to sleeve this over all my hall sensors and uh, just zip tie it in place. I'm going to tie on a single conductor to my five hall wires and snake it through here to make it a little easier on myself. So I sleeve the whole piece of insulation over all my hall sensors and I think that'll uh, help it out a lot and add some protection. It was kind of a pain but uh, it went on and uh, I'm satisfied.
All right, I have the 5404 uh, mounted on the bike with uh, the specialized front and back tires. I swapped those out. Uh, I got my brake rotor on. All right, nice. I got my 15 cell lipo pack hooked up to it, and uh, I was just trying to figure out all the phase and haul combinations, and I finally got it. It only took like three tries this time, and uh, it's spinning forward, so the controller's still set in that mode. All right, I got the motor mounted on the bike. Uh, I changed out both front and rear tires with the specialized crossroads. These things are good for up to 80 psi. I didn't know that till now, but it's pretty cool. Uh, got the disc brake all set up. I got the caliper aligned up properly and working. I uh, actually could use the same adapter I made for my others. I just had to bring it to the outside of the frame instead of the inside of the frame, and everything's lining up. Uh, I got the phase wires taped up and the combinations are correct and the motor is spinning properly so uh, everything's good I took it for a test drive uh, the spokes are really loose I gotta deal with that I, uh, I hope I can fix it and I don't have to get it relaced because I don't really want to spend any more money after spending so much on this motor but just look at how wide this thing is It's almost twice as heavy as my Golden Motor 1000 watt, which I thought was a heavy motor before. This thing is heavy. Uh, it actually almost seems a little slower than my my Golden Motor as well. I think I was getting under 30 on it when I was using 15 cell, which is weird. I'm going to have to find out again, though. But once I up the voltage to 20 or 24 cell, I'm sure this thing's going to come alive and be pretty pretty fun. Well, before it gets dark out, I figure I'll get one more shot of the bike outside. All temped out. Motor working. Look at how big that motor is. 